Cool. So as we said, posture and grip are the two main things. Grip specifically in terms of your right hand position and both hand pressure. Now your left hand we did tweak a little bit, obviously using that mark on your glove there to get it more in the fingers, but more so really with the right hand, that's going to be the key thing, okay? If we zoom in on these two grips here now, you can see the change we've made, how your right hand now is yeah, just yeah. moving a bit more of it. Now if we look at that there and you sort of saw any golf video on YouTube, or you saw, that's a strong grip. Okay. Well, okay, Dustin Johnson's got a strong grip. Jordan Spieth's got a weak grip. Strong and weak are just a personal preference to some extent, okay? If it's beyond the extreme and going too far this way with your right hand, it could lead to big hooks or cause you to have to do something in the downswing or impact area to keep that club face straight. Otherwise, your goal will all the time is going left, 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 and just snap hooking or going very, very low, okay? So with that grip being better, and I said, the way we change that now is not turning your right hand over, not using your elbow and your shoulder. You just let you drop the club down, okay? So if this sort of a bad version of a hand here now okay we're gonna grip it here not there okay basically that's gonna be your lifeline there where before you were gonna grip it in the lifeline and sort of smother your hand over we just simply drop it down the fingers your right hand now is gonna automatically just have more more palm to go over the grip that's what it comes down to you see and you can see now when you're doing that everything looks fairly neutral and very relaxed over your arms there there's no tension or doesn't seem to be as much tension in your grip now the way you're swinging it i think you're aware of that grip pressure and also as we said this locking here all the things you kind of did with your grip sort of added tension to your setup the jamming of your fingers in here the squeezing down with your thumbs the forearm being in sort of the right hand being underneath engaging your forearm the tension in your grip all these things are going to cause tension. They're going to restrict your ability to swing the golf club. If we can hold it in the fingers and just allow things to move and bend and sort of function, you've got much more control of that golf club, okay? So swing-wise, as we said, you go back. Nothing really sort of made you change in the swing, okay? As you went to the top of the back swing there now, okay? It's a bit shorter, I think, from memory. Was your th you want to be fair, your eight time was a bit shorter than your three, would be fair. So that's fine now, okay? So that's fine. So your back swing there is fine. As you come back to the golf ball here now, let me try the golf ball. And we can rotate through nice and freely. Your arms will just fold up there. Yeah. And for me, that left arm seems to kind of just fold up nicely there. There's a nice bend with the left arm through impact there. Just letting your arm just sort of fold around here, not trying to lock up too much. <clears throat> this one here now looks a bit kind of a bit jumpier with that sort of left shoulder and left arm. Trying to kind of get out of the way or try to get the ball non-left, shall we say. Trying to swing the golf club in such a way that sort of sends the ball against where your grip's going to send it. You your right hand grip being here. That sends the ball left. This sort of moving up with the shoulder and the left shoulder getting quite high is going to cause the ball to go to the right. Two wrong could make a right. Mm. And on occasions when it did click together on any given tee shot or any given second or any given hole or selection of holes, you'd hit fairways and greens and probably make a few parts. Yeah. But when it didn't click together, you're making six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. And as I said, the game of golf would look very similar to like a four, five, six, four, three, eight, four, three, eight, nine, four, three, big numbers chucked in there. That's going to sort of limit your potential to get under that 100 barrier. And again, if we can get that ball down the fairway at 170, 180, you can hit the ball further than that. We know that. But if you can average it at 180 in the middle of every fairway, drop a ball down there and play goal from there, you're going to score better, aren't you? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we can get a bit more distance when we start getting more confident with that. I think some of the swings you made with that three would there, because it still feels a little bit not quite sure there's a little bit slower swing which is fine i think when you make a change it always does feel a little bit awkward and a bit strange and i'm, I'm certainly agree with the fact that you can just swing a bit more under control that's fine speed will come back into your game once it starts feeling more natural because you're thinking about something your brain thinking slows you down basically yeah. which is not a problem um once this grip kind of becomes the norm the natural position you're just yeah exactly you just stood there we've put the club down there and i think at the moment now the process i don't know if we've got the sort of full grip that we might have not quite the process of putting the hands on the club now is involving a bit of thinking and brain power okay my left hand's going on there underneath kind of the mark of my yeah, yeah. of my left hand grip yeah. in the fingers again thumb nice and loose my right hand now is sort of sitting on top there in the fingers thumb nice and loose and the fingers aren't jamming together yeah. okay so straight away now we've taken a lot of tension out of kind of here and here and here which allows your body now to function and rotate and swing the club as well as you can. Yeah. And that's why I think a lot of times people struggle with when they, again, nothing against people to self-talk, because hey, Bubba Watson was, and a lot of people do it and so on, but if we self-teach ourselves to try and get to a level, some of the things you're doing there are going to restrict what you can do. You can swing it better than you're scoring, but what you're doing in terms of the setup there is going to sort of put you behind the eight ball each time, because 
It's like playing football in welly boots. Mm. Okay, you could be the best football player in the world. If you're playing in welly boots, you're not going to perform as well, are you? You're going to restrict what you can do. Your skills will still kind of shine in occasions, but for the most part, you're not going to be as good as you could be if we can just sort of get in the right positions, the right setup, and all these kind of things. Okay, so get that left hand grip better. As simple as it may be, if you can. And what I'll do is I'll I zoom in here. That's a bit blurry, so I get a better clear of image. I zoom in to get a clear image there. So I'll be sending this through to you anyway, so you can yeah, sort of yeah. screen grab that image, yeah. have that on your phone or whatever, and then when you're at home there, just get your hands on the club. If you haven't got a mould, it doesn't matter, you use any club to be fair. Just hold the club there, get the club in your hands, and just sit there while watching TV, just yeah, okay. Yeah. Just move the club around, spell your name in midair, I think, yeah, that yeah. three or four times a day for a couple of minutes. The grip will start feeling a bit more like this, what it should feel like, rather than, yeah, where am I going kind of thing. Yeah. So we can get yourself on the golf course, not having to think about what you need to do. You just instinctively grab hold of a golf club in that way. Yeah. The same way as you grab hold of, if you're going to grab a hammer or a pen or a steering wheel, you just instinctively go, Ugh. you don't go, oh, my finger needs to go there and wrap. You just yeah. grab it and do it, don't you? Yeah. Okay. So when you're learning something or changing something, shall we say, there's a thinking time to go through. The more you can practice that, and again, the posture, as we discussed, the quicker you can get yourself over the golf ball then without thinking so much, then we can start thinking maybe about some sort of swing tweaks where we need to as the game goes on. Okay? Does that kind of make sense then? Yeah? Yeah, it does. Excellent.